Welcome to another edition of Postal Vision News Break. I'm Joyce Smith. And I'm Lauren James. This summer was full of fun and festivals, and the United States Postal Service was right there to get in on some of the summer action. On Saturday, September 3rd, in conjunction with the Ford Arts Beats and Eats Festival, the Royal Oak Michigan Post Office hosted an event publicizing the unveiling of the Latin Music Legend Stamp. This celebration included a photo op with Carmen Miranda, impersonated by letter carrier Karen Voss, and the unveiling ceremony, which attracted more than 1,000 attendees. And to add to the fun, this event was preceded by a world record attempt for the largest Zumba dance class ever. The Latin music legend stamp featured images of Carmen Miranda, Selena, Carlos Gardel, Tito Puente, and Celia Cruz, five legendary entertainers representing samba, tiano, tango, Latin jazz, and salsa. The weather was great and the food was awesome. What a great family event for all to enjoy. It was. I was kind of shocked how well Karen looked just like Carmen Miranda. She sure did, didn't she? I was very impressed. It's CFC time again. The Combined Federal Campaign is the only authorized charitable fundraising campaign in the federal and postal workplace. The CFC promotes and supports philanthropy through a program that is cost efficient and effective in providing federal employees the opportunity to improve the quality of life for all. The theme for this year is Hope is the Greatest Gift of All. This year marks the 50th anniversary of CFC. The commitment and generosity of federal employees has made CFC one of the most successful programs in history. Since its inception in 1961, the campaign has raised more than $7 billion. In the past, USPS employees have been generous contributors to CFC. Each year, our employees open their hearts to CFC organizations to help those in need. There are more than 200 CFC campaigns across the United States and internationally. CFC has more than 4,000 approved charities eligible to receive donations, including organizations that provide human services, health care, medical research, disaster relief, housing, and much more. Not only do they devote their livelihoods to their country, but their generosity has made CFC one of the most powerful philanthropic forces in the world. Wow, I can't believe the CFC has been around for 50 years. Neither can I. But did you know John F. Kennedy was actually the founder of the CFC in 1961? I did not know that. Neither did I. Beginning early next year, customers will spend a penny more to mail letters anywhere across the United States. This is the first price change for first-class stamps since May of 2009. Highlights of the new single-piece first-class mail pricing, which is effective January 22, 2012, include... One ounce first class letters have been raised by one penny to 45 cents. Additional first class ounces are unchanged at 20 cents. Postcards have been raised by three cents and increased to 32 cents. Letters to Canada or Mexico, one ounce or less, five cent increase to 85 cents. Prices also will change for other mailing services including standard mail, periodicals, package services and extra services. Express mail and priority mail prices will remain the same. Another new option that will be available to customers is a three-month pricing option to rent P.O. boxes. A potential option for people on the move and those who need a P.O. box for just a short period of time. Wow, that's great. I remember when you got P.O. boxes, it either had to be for six months or a year. Yeah, that's going to be very convenient for a lot of people. Wow, that's great. Now you can help yourself at the self-service ship and mail center. In October, the United States Postal Service will rename its familiar self-service kiosk. Formerly called the Automated Postal Center, or APC, the kiosk now will be known as the Self-Service Ship and Mail Center. The new name is expected to create a newfound confidence in this self-service expanded shipping and mailing option that affords expanded access to postal products and services. Customers can now shop at a time and location that's more convenient for them. Based on research and analysis, self-service ship and mail center was selected by a large group of small business and residential customers as the name that best supports the kiosk and the United States Postal Service brand. Along with the new name, there also will be new signage that indicates the key products and services. For customers who don't understand or are unaware of the products and services available at these self-service kiosks, the signage easily identifies them. 
and listing just the main services eliminates the visual clutter and non-essential information that might be confusing to customers. All retail associates should educate their customers and promote the new self-service ship and mail center. The new name, along with the revamped look, should persuade customers to use this shipping and mailing option as a quick and convenient way to conduct postal transactions. Well, that's it for this edition of Postal Vision Newsbreak, your news and information source in and around the Detroit District. I'm Lauren James. And I'm Joyce Smith. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time right here.